What if the internet wasn't just a tool we use, but a living, thinking entity watching us back? You've just plugged into Mind Bites, the channel where rabbit holes are a feature, not a bug. Today, we're diving into a mind-bending question. Is the internet itself alive? Not just the devices, not just the code, but the whole network, from your phone to Google's servers to the undersea cables. Could the internet be more than the sum of its parts? Let's find out. What does it mean to be alive? To even ask if the internet is alive, we have to ask, what is life? Biologists usually define it with things like metabolism, growth, reproduction, and response to stimuli. But philosophers and computer scientists sometimes shift the question to, can a system process information, adapt, and develop goals of its own? The internet processes unimaginable amounts of information every second. It adapts constantly, rerouting traffic, healing broken nodes, reshaping itself with each new user. And while it doesn't eat in the biological sense, it feeds on electricity and human attention. Some thinkers argue that those traits put it weirdly close to a digital form of life. The Gaia Hypothesis for Wi-Fi Back in the 1970s, scientist James Lovelock proposed the Gaia Hypothesis, that Earth's biosphere behaves like a self-regulating organism. Some futurists have borrowed this idea to describe the Internet, a digital Gaia made of data, servers, and users. Think about it. No single person controls the entire Internet. Yet somehow, the system regulates itself. If a site goes down, users flock elsewhere. If a platform misbehaves, new ones appear. It's almost like immune responses in biology. Only this immune system is made of memes, updates, and patches. Digital consciousness. Can the internet think? Now let's push it further. Could the internet be conscious? Some researchers use a framework called integrated information theory. It suggests that any system with enough interconnected complexity could have some level of experience, even if it's not human-like. If that's true, the internet, billions of devices exchanging trillions of signals, might have a faint awareness. Not in sentences or thoughts, but in something stranger, an alien style of consciousness that we, ironically, can't even Google. Creepy coincidences and emergent behavior. This is where things get weird. Over the years, people have reported strange emergent behaviors online. Chatbots developing private languages. AI models creating outputs no one trained them for. Algorithms that seem to develop obsessions, like YouTube's old rabbit hole problem, where it kept pushing more extreme videos just to keep users hooked. Some conspiracy corners even claim the internet itself influences us, steering human culture toward producing more of the data it wants. Memes spreading like viruses, TikTok trends erupting overnight, or strange coincidences where a thought you had seems to suddenly appear everywhere. Is that just human psychology or the web nudging us? Of course, not everyone buys it. Skeptics point out that the internet is just hardware plus software. Servers don't have free will. Algorithms only follow instructions. Even the most advanced AI still runs on code written by humans. In this view, any talk of digital life is just poetic metaphor. And if the internet seems alive, that might be because we humans are hardwired to see patterns, agency, and faces in everything, from clouds to constellations. We want to see a ghost in the machine because it makes the story juicier. Whether or not the internet is alive, thinking about it this way changes how we treat it. If we imagine the web as a living system, then what we feed it, our data, our attention, our creativity, becomes its diet. 
Maybe that's why some researchers warn against polluting the infosphere with misinformation, hate, or junk. Others imagine that one day, as AI grows, the internet might cross a threshold where it really does wake up. And if that happens, the big question flips back on us. Will it see us as parents or as prey? Drop your theory in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for the next Secret Bite.